Hi, welcome back to Cedar Porch Homestead. I'm JR, and we are so excited to get ready for spring, and we are ramping up for it, and we're spending a lot more time in this area right here, our backyard garden. As you see, our quail aviary is all done. That looks amazing. It's budding up to our garden. So we're gonna be spending a lot more time out here. But real quick, what I wanna do, because I have done this wrong many, many times, and I've done it right, just a few. So I wanna share why we have done this right. And that's getting our bare root strawberries all prepped to go in the ground. So one of the problems we've had in the past, especially here in South Texas, is fire ants. Every time I get a good crop of strawberry plants established and starting to produce, fire ants always seem to find them because of that sweetness and all that sugar content in the berries themselves. So what we're doing is changing up our tactics a little bit this year. So we've recently finished up our little fire pit area, which allows us as a family just to come hang out, spend time together, even have a campfire too. And around that campfire, I use some mineral totes that we got from a rancher buddy of ours to create the timbers that are holding our string lights together. So we are using these mineral totes now as part of our raised bed gardening. Now for the strawberries, especially, this is one of my little hacks that I hope to beat the fire ants with my strawberry plants this year, because at the very bottom of these, we have concrete about four inches worth, and that's what's holding these timbers in place. Now above that concrete, I have rock, but in that rock, I have quarter inch holes drilled all the way around. So this should drain really well without letting the fire ants come from the ground up because we try not to use any organophosphates or any pesticides in our yard when we can prevent it because we try to stay as beyond organic as possible. Now also with all those holes drilled, this should be a well-draining soil because strawberries need well-drained soil to really, really do well. And this is mostly compost that we did right here in our own backyard. So it should be very nutritious for our plants. So we should be getting some delicious strawberries from it. But there's a little hack that we have found that really helps these bare root strawberries flourish and grow really quickly. So before I get to this little hack, I want to just tell you how I have messed up in the past. And I have gone to the box stores because they are more than happy to sell you bare root strawberries. But what I have not looked at is what growing zone these strawberries are for. Now here in South Texas, we are in now 9B, which means that we are virtually on the face of the sun. Outside of like Arizona, Nevada, and the desert, we are hot, especially in the summer. So most of the time you can only grow these strawberries as annuals, not perennials, because they tend to not last all the way through the summer, or they definitely don't make it through the winter because we have a day of cold weather and we forget to cover things. That might be on us. Now, one of the things that's worked out really well for us outside of picking the right strawberries for our zone is soaking the bare roots in a five gallon bucket of water. So for the most part, these bare root strawberries and other types of plants just come in these plastic bags. And we got 10 bare root strawberry plants in this order, and they're gonna come just like this for the most part. Now you're like, oh man, they're in some really good rich soil. That's great. And you would say, yeah, man, that's awesome. But what we're gonna do is just pull that off because typically they're rubber banded together. And we're gonna find that rubber band and we're going to gently find a way of pulling this rubber band off. You can cut it or you can just pull it off like this. And we're just gonna take all these and drop them in the water and make sure they're soaked. So this year we are starting the season with 20 strawberry plants because that's what I have room for right now. Even though I think I would probably want to do more but we want to it just at least get started. So we're gonna let those bare root strawberries soak in that water for about an hour. And meanwhile, while those are soaking, my youngest has informed me that she is not exceptionally happy with the way my garden's looking coming into the spring. There's a couple things we need to move, a couple things we need to disassemble. So she's gonna be here to help me get all that situated. Under her guidance, we're gonna get this all lined out while we're waiting. Let's get to work. Yeah. One hour later. 
So our strawberries have been soaking for a little over an hour now. So we're gonna start pulling them out and separating them nice and gently. So real nice and easy. They should come apart without being entangled too bad unless you just really got some that were all nice and twisted up. So we're just gonna separate them out and we're gonna put five plants in each one of these raised containers for a total of 20 strawberry plants. Now we try to grow as many strawberries as we can because I love snacking on the strawberries when I come out to the garden and my girls love it too. Okay, so strawberries have what's called a crown and that's gonna be this area right here that's right above where all the roots come in to the plant itself. Now it's really important to identify where the crown is on these strawberry plants because when you plant them, you want the crown just above the level of the soil because if this gets buried too deep, as far as on the crown, then what happens, these are very, and by these, I mean the strawberry plants are very susceptible to root rot and really just drowning. So you wanna make sure that crown is just above the soil level. So when we plant these strawberries, we wanna make sure our hole is deep enough so that the roots aren't bunched up too bad. We want them to kind of dig down just about as deep as they possibly can. And again, we wanna make sure that that crown is just above the soil so that we don't get any of that root rot. Just about like that. 19 more to go. So when it comes to planting these bare root strawberries, there's not a whole lot that you have to remember. Five important tips. First is gonna to be to make sure that you're getting the correct strawberry for the zone that you live in. Second is to make sure that the soil you're gonna be planting them in is well draining and not overly saturated. Third is to make sure when you plant them to soak them for upwards of an hour to make sure that the roots are nice and pliable. When you plant them, make sure that the crowns are slightly above the soil level. And last but not least, these plants are sent to you as dormant. So expect four to six weeks before you see any new leaf development above the soil level. Don't get disheartened. Wait that month, month and a half before you start seeing those leaves and those strawberries start to grow and enjoy some delicious strawberries this summer. Now, we really appreciate you watching this video. If you haven't had a chance already, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're notified when we come out with new videos. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and we'll see you on our next video. Thank you so much.